Hey everyone, it's Video Game Pianist here, and this is my third serious time playing Piano Tiles 2. So let's continue and let's play The Swan by Camille Saint Saëns. Now I'm going to start trying a new technique where I play two fingers with two fingers in my right hand and two fingers in my left hand because that way I can play, put one finger for each column because there are four columns and that way I can have four fingers total. Before I was just using two, two fingers, one finger in each hand to keep track of four columns and that for that I had to go from side to side and keep track of two columns for each finger. So I think when I use two fingers it's going to be more efficient and I'll be able to react more quickly and and play and play more tiles but at the same time there's a learning curve so when I start playing with two fingers most likely I'm gonna have to get used to this new setup with playing with two fingers in each hand so I might make more mistakes than usual but in the long term it's going to be more beneficial because using two fingers is going to be more helpful or so I think that's my hypothesis for this experiment and so I'd rather break the habit of playing two with two fingers early on rather than keep on playing it and develop that habit but rather start with a new habit and and do slightly not as well as than usual and then improve later on I think that will pay be pay in dividends so let's start Oh, I missed that because I was trying to play the music in time. As overseer, you will and if I if I had played earlier, that that the melody could have rushed a little bit. But this is a game after all. It's about playing, pressing the rectangle at the right time. That's what determines whether one progresses in the level or not. I pressed the side of the screen on my Samsung 6 Edge and somehow that didn't register. Cool, I leveled up to level 9. But anyway, let's try that again. And let's see if I can get past 493 or my best to 584. Oh, my third finger tapped that red edge of the button. So again, this is part of the learning curve of using four fingers at one time.
Ah, oh, missed that with my right hand. All right, let's try that again. Um, again, and press the edge of the screen. Try it again. Oh, oh, let's just continue from there. Oh, okay. Yes, I can't use diamonds. Try it again. Oh, my third finger missed that. Let's try it again. Being persistent pays off. Especially when practicing the piano and learning new pieces on the piano. Sometimes to get, to get good at any skill just requires persistence and patience and dedication.
Ah, oh, I missed that. Let's see if I get more diamonds. No. Oh, I got a personal best. So that was really fun. Alright, let's try the Can Can by Jacques Offenbach from Orpheus in the Underworld. I tried to get the Easter egg, but I missed the, the rectangle. All right, that was fun. Got four Easter eggs, though. All right, later. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait later. All right. Whoops. All right, I press the can can again. Let's try the can can again. How do I close this ad? All right, let's play another piece. How about Prelude C Major Number One by J.S. Bach, BWV 846 from the World Temper Clavier Book One.
Try the symphony number 40 in G minor by Mozart. everyone we're back so that was just a call just for routine um, test drill so everything is fine and we're back so it's in the middle of the the bonus round so let's continue and the camera tilted sideways so let me tilt it back for Easter eggs and it looks like I got the three crowns so this is my first time I've ever gotten three crowns in a level I'm so happy so let's try the skill challenge again and see um, from the comments in the previous video, it's, some people have said that this world's best 17.996 tiles per second has not been achieved by a human, but it's been achieved by a computer. 
So it's been said like maybe the world's best is around 12 tiles per second. So let me see how well I do this time with using the two fingers per hand method, which has obviously helped me immensely in getting uh, three crowns for the first time ever in, in playing uh, level. So let's go. So let's see, skilled or beginner? Let's try this one. Seven point six one two. Let's close this ad. Hmm, let's see Xbox. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I beat eighty-five percent plays globally with seven point six one two tiles per second. All right, so let's try that again and see if I can get even higher than seven point six one two. Again, this is only my third serious time playing piano towels too, so let's see how this goes. Try that again. It's like, come on, only 6.473 tiles per second. Try it again. Six point nine four six. All right, so well, that's enough for this level for today. Let's try one more piece. How about Trish Trash Polka by Johann Strauss the Second.
use my third finger to play that, but instead I simply tap the towel with the second finger. Tap that space with the second finger. But that was a lot of fun. And got this music box. Let's see what's this. What's inside? The more we get together. Alright, so let's try this level. Try it one more time, then I gotta go. Cool, level 11 now. Let's try this one more time. That's that for playing piano towels today. I hope you had as much fun as I did playing the game, as you did watching me play the game. All right, well, see you next time. Bye.